Hey, Facebook family and friends, this is Peter. Just a brief cancer update. As many of you know, I'm in my 16th year on this journey. Started in 2005 with major surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in Manhattan to remove my bladder, prostate, and other urinary parts. It was diagnosed as high-grade urothelial cancer. It became metastatic. The cancer did in 2015. I've had 15 surgeries, not counting procedures and tests. And really radiation and chemo rinses and almost five years of immunotherapy treatments. Uh, but uh, I think back to, to twice, 2015 and 2017, when Memorial Sloan Kettering advised my doctor just to send me home and call hospice. I think back to that during this time of Thanksgiving, uh, not only because I'm grateful that I'm still here, but I'm grateful that I've had a relationship with my higher power, Jesus Christ, to be able to deliver me peace, comfort, and joy, even when it didn't make sense. And I have to be truthful about that. I have to testify to that because I'm someone that struggles with fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I mean, that is just part and parcel of how I am wired. And so for me, my relationship with my higher power, Jesus Christ, has been absolutely essential. Uh, that, that I have Jesus to lean on, to surrender, to let go, to trust, to be empowered by, uh, to, to actually receive things that I didn't have within me, like peace, comfort, and joy. And during this time of Thanksgiving, that's the message that I'd like to give, is that I'm thankful as I sit here, after in my 16th year of this cancer journey that I'm recently engaged to a, a wonderful woman that I have six precious children that are doing really well and just all the other my family all the other things in my life that God has done something in me and through me that I could have never expected uh, and so I'm just appreciative I'm I'm humbled by it I'm thankful and I want to leave you with this verse that talks about God's love. I'm thankful for God's love and what that love has meant to me personally through this journey. And, and if you want more information on my journey, I wrote a book called Cancer and Peace that you can find on Amazon. But here, here are the two verses uh, out of the scriptures in Romans. It says, and I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. So thank you for listening. Be blessed this Thanksgiving time. And I'm thankful for you all really, for your thoughts and prayers. So thank you. Bye.